Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at Creators Theory. In today's video, we'll see how to create a storm typographic or kinetic typographic in Filmora. But before starting this tutorial, if you don't have the latest version of Filmora, then make sure you download it from the link in the description below. And if you're new to this channel, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow for more amazing tutorials. Now let's get started. So as you can see, I'm in Filmora right now. And uh, for this video purpose, I will be using one background uh, video which is this one so you don't really need a video behind it you can use a simple graphical uh, background from this sample video colors over here you can watch my show reel over here where i have done a little storm typography over there uh, it is not uh, done behind a video it is done more on a graphical background so you can check that out how you can approach in that way but today for this tutorial we'll be using a video background video and the first thing we need the most important part is the audio for this video so I just brought this uh, audio file into the timeline. Now uh, one thing I missed out is that uh, uh, is that you need to first right click on it and do bit detection. So you can see this is uh, grayed out because I've already done bit detection for this uh, audio file. So when you do bit detection, it uh, detects the B. Now this is not really uh, up to the mark, but uh, it gives uh, the system the ai system does some of the job easier for us but we need to still go and manually add the mark the beats where the beats are present so so how storm typography works is that we edit the text to the beat and we change the text when the beat changes when there is a uh, beat hitting then we change the text so similarly let's first listen to the song and mark all the beats where we want the editing to happen so there are some double beats over there and one some single beat so I, what i will do i will try to edit in that single beat and double beat so first we'll mark the uh, mark with the marker we'll mark all the positions where there is single beat and double beat So we'll be editing this much part of this video for this tutorial purposes so what i will do first i will add a text file to this now there is a particular type of text that i like with this storm typography which is poppins bold so you can use this uh, uh, font because it really suits with the effect and base uh, that we add in the audio file so it really so it really syncs with the type of the video that we are trying to create so i will just go into uh, bring a basic text uh, file over here and let me edit it so what i will do and then we will change the text font and scale this to the size that you want and let me place it over here so what i will do i will click on ok over here let me just copy this file and i will go to the next frame and i will paste it over here now what i will do there are two types that you saw in this uh, beat so what i will do i will do an animation over here with this style 4 so there is a particular type of uh, uh, text effect added to it now go into advanced i don't want that shadow over there so what i will do go into advanced and here I will first change the color to white and then I will remove the shadow then click on OK and let's see how it plays so there are two beats so what we can do first of all we will again copy this and uh, copy this paste this and we'll move this here let me move this here let me just sing this to the beat over here click on ok let's see how it plays now now as you can see there is that effect that we saw now for that double beat what i will do there is a double beat next to this video so again i will copy this I'll paste it over here and uh, first what I will do YouTube cut it over here and let me make this YouTube a little bigger click on ok now let's see from the start how it's set 
so did you see that for the double beat it uh, there is one size and then it zooms to other size so this gives it that bass uh, bass beat effect that we have and uh, uh, similarly now you have to go on editing keep on editing with similar style uh, there are other style as well where you can change the background as well so let me just uh, delete this rest of this video sample colors over here let me bring one of the sample colors that's right YouTube visuals and uh, again we will copy this text and we will paste it over here and again we will use the similar styling that we have let's again go to the advanced and here let's change it to white and uh, outline again to white and let's remove the shadows click on ok let's see how it plays So if you can see this, let me just change it to 250 and let me just change this to 250 and position this in the middle and let me bring it over here. Now we have, a, let's now see from the start how this looks. So uh, as, as you guys know, we are doing storm typographic editing over here. So this means uh, the text are editing along with the beat. Now let's see how it syncs with the beat and uh, create that effect. So as you just saw, that's how the storm typographic or kinetic typography takes place. So that's it guys with the storm typography or kinetic typography uh, effect in Filmora. If there are various ways that people uh, execute this effect using various ways and various methods. Some other, some of the famous videos like the don't blink ad of Apple was one of the famous storm typography effect that the Apple created. So you can go ahead and watch some videos on internet and get inspiration and create video accordingly. So that's it guys with the simple tutorial. I hope you guys like this. If you guys like this, then give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to give some more video suggestion, tutorial suggestion, then mention them in the description below. See you guys in the next video. Till then, see ya.